Well, here we are, boys and few gals, back with another set of JoJo videos. This time you'll be getting three sins and three wins videos covering all 39 episodes, 13 apiece. Thank you to everyone who joined my Patreon expressly to get part four voted in by an insane 22 votes to the nearest other anime, which had just two votes. You're amazing. I do this for you. And please be sure to leave a like and a comment and maybe help out on Patreon since YouTube pays me diddly squat on both channels for JoJo videos. And now let's get into it. Right off the bat, immediately I'm hit with what looks like a really different art style to the previous part and I ain't hating it. Oh, I tell Atakshi, Anata no Rinjin Kai Harada. This beautiful twisting panning shot is so Jojo it physically hurts me. I mean, it doesn't, but I think it's great. Plot twist! Not CGI! Nanika Kaotokoto, Jiken Toka. Jotaro! Sinewy shots that almost always score a fantastic win! I do believe these styles of introductions may be new and I like it. God, I love his character, his voice actor, and his stando! The style change, it looks really good. I'm incredibly impressed thus far. At least he cares about the poor turtle. <laughs> Seriously, that style! <laughs> you knew it was coming! Another unique stando! Whoa, this really is unique, and the turtle got better too, and I knew Jojo wouldn't let me down, so take two wins, damn it. God, I'm happy I'm making these videos. Oh my god, he's still okay. You guys have no idea how long I've been waiting to find that out. I've been patient though, and kept away from spoilers, and I'm so happy right now. Just putting out there into the world that I like this new character. He fixed up the turtle and he seems like a really cool dude with a really cool voice actor. Very cool. This rotating view. Why can't other anime do stuff like this, man? Oh my god, is he stopping time? And some things never change. Erin plus Todoroki. Joseph Nicely setting up the story and doing so by including Old Man Jojo's stand abilities is a great touch. Whoa. Jesus, this got dark. Here I am about to praise the introduction of this villain in this cool new star, and they show him running up to some guy aged 12 and hitting him with a baseball bat to the face, and then I want monetization on this video, so let's just say being the worst human alive to the guy's girlfriend. Man, I love when Jojo can so randomly go from being light-hearted to incredibly dark so quickly. They don't even use CGI in a distant shot like this. This was an event which took place during the episode. Another unique stand on that. This may be one of the worst villains in the entire anime. Blah. Hmm? 
In terms of a stylistic change, I absolutely have to shout out the narration and scene transitioning as we hear Jotaro speak about this. See you next Tuesday, and then move straight back into the actively flowing and progressing scene. That's so impressive to up and change the style like that, and to do it so successfully, no less. Okay, I can't show just anything that just happened. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going out on a limb and saying this. This is my personal favourite OP so far out of all of them. Really awesome and super catchy tune. I loved that a lot. And the style change was extremely noticeable and the dance moves and everything else. The dark music change and finding a way to link his past to the families. Huh? Keeping with the times by having him play with an N64. Now that was clever! <laughs> this entire interaction, the CGI effect on the bottom of the stand, and the amazingly intense action themed music. Kicking off this second episode with a very genuinely sad moment for his grandfather's passing. Ah, oh, this... and the music... it's killing me! Then they go ahead and really drive it home by talking about the guy's wardrobe. I mean, it sounds lame when I say it, but yeah, it's emotional as hell! <laughs> Gotta say, I'm liking this personality where he's super calm and suddenly really loses it. <laughs> Weather effects in anime, much like in video games, seems to be getting better and better all the time. <laughs> Oh god, yes. It wouldn't be Jojo if it wasn't full of seemingly inescapable scenarios. Loving getting to see Star Platinum back in action, and Yosuke's stand also has a great attacking sound. Yeah, I can get all the way on board with that. The ED is one of the strangest I've ever seen. I'm in awe. Absolutely in awe. It's beautiful and had a fantastic song. I'm in love with it. All for one. First person perspective. In terms of a powerful ability for an enemy to have, they just managed to take it next level. Wait, Dio? The car driving away, hand drawn, the reflection in the mirror, also hand drawn, and then changing to a reflection of himself. That's beautiful. No, 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 another unique standor! That's a really nice touch using what sounds to me like the same sound effect used when Vanilla Ice erased things with his stand. <laughs> Tells me a great deal about his character that he'd take damage in order to save this enemy from being killed. <laughs> And this tells me just about everything else I needed to know. I like this dude a lot. It kind of reminds me of Joseph when he was young. God, I hope he joins the crew full time. I love the voice actor. In case you didn't know what Win53 was for when I said Knuckle, that's the character he voiced in Hunter x Hunter. Such a nice guy in that animal lover too like me. Kyoshi! 
Oh, what you got? He's so joining the crew. Knuckles joining the crew. Nanda. I always say it as a joke, but also mixed in with being a genuine win. But let's be honest, this really is another unique stand. It's friggin' toy soldiers. Yep, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Get out of here with that. Another excellent stand -up. Oh god. In my eyes, they're very much making it look like battles are being taken to a whole other level. I'm just loving the entire vibe of them thus far. Can't get over how awesome it is that they frequently change the colour styles. It used to mean nothing to me, but now I'm more like, HA! Look, his hair's now white instead of blonde! Look at this! Goddamn dust particles! Because the sun is shining through and the wall is broken too! Yup, didn't see that coming at all. I can never figure out these battles. Must admit, I'm liking Baby Aaron and what he brings to their currently two man group. What the bloody hell? Yeah, yeah he did! <laughs> Fleshed out backstories about pretty much everyone is so bread and butter for Jojo. I can't show it, but the anime absolutely deserves a win for him saving his younger brother even after the threat of killing him if he didn't stand down. This. I literally, and I do mean literally, said this in Japanese right before him. Just gonna be honest and tell you all I've got a huge smile on my face right now. Huh? Yeah, he's joining the crew, my boy Knuckle! Another unique but incredibly odd standoff. Like, really weird, isn't it? His healing ability just comes in handy like all the time. What a great stand. This glorious looking edit, like it came right out of Love is War or something. Eren Chan increased his coolness level by 100%. Now he's got a stand, pretty much the same way Mob does when he uses his power seriously in Mob Psycho 100. Just when I think I've seen all of the weirdest and wildest stands they could ever be, they go and have baby Aaron chance be like this and it's so bizarre. Pun intended. And just like that, when I'm utterly clueless as to how he can win, he goes and pulls that out of his hat like he's been using his stand for years. He's clearly a fast learner. <laughs> yeah, I officially like this kid a lot. Can't show it, but he jams the damn pen into his eye. What the hell? I'm not even mad that he's joined his crew when we get moments like these.
I think stands are so very varied in abilities in JoJo that there's basically no end to them, which is obviously great for a series which runs as long as this one has. Actually having an enemy openly acknowledge this is an incredible way of cementing not only Dio's power in the universe but also Jotaro's. Many times anime can have someone super strong and then they'll just replace them in the next season to up the game, much like Dragon Ball Super to be honest. And the way they handled Star Platinum's power and abilities is like a homage to his character's strength. Eren Chan saving his buddy, and believe it or not, but I actually guessed it correctly for once. <laughs> Super nice touch having him kick him when he gets up, and we hear the wood effect of the doll. <laughs> That is so damn cool! Multiple moving characters on screen! That's so clever! This is even more clever! It's just so insanely clever! I love the manga for coming up with all of this genius storytelling, dude! And now coming together is one of my favourite parts of Jojo as an anime, is the crew element, everyone interacting and reacting to one another, the dynamic is always expertly crafted through extensive character development. Oh my god! It's a hair attacking related stand. See what I mean by seemingly infinite options in the future? But hell, if they keep backing it up with interesting characters using those stands inside a larger, even more interesting overall story, then I'm game for the long run. These two real bros helping out the rather bro warms my damn heart. <laughs> Oh dear lord, even I wouldn't be able to put up with this! God damn, Eren's voice actor is capable of so much impressive range! Now that was a very clever use of his stand's abilities. It is increasingly awesome to see how he fights someone with his set of skills and abilities, especially given that the last season essentially had all of the main heroes fighting with attack related stands. <laughs> this absolutely wouldn't be Jojo if a character wasn't narrating exactly what's happening on screen. Gotta give mad props to the voice actress for this chick. She's done a stunningly great job with this crazy woman. Him saving her life despite everything she put him through is another great way to tell us just about everything we need to know about his character. <laughs> This ending, and in case you can't recall, it's because she tortured him when he got the answers wrong. Water drinking enjoyment! I like how they gave this guy an obviously wonky Japanese voice since he's Italian. I wish I could have shown the actual teeth scene, but goodness me, that was crazy. First person perspective plus the added dark filter just really adds to the creepy tension. It's pretty damn rare for an art style change in JoJo, but I like this a lot. That's a fantastic bait and switch of an episode, all based on a genuinely nice dude helping people with his stand's abilities. 
ジョセフ・ジョースターよりカチッ俺は一度決めたことをやり遂げられなかった男だしほらほらやめないとどんどん蹴りが強くなるです<笑>あの始末してやった警長の弟の The effects used on the stand are amazing It's really bright スタンドのレッドホットチリペッパーのこと<笑><笑>現在ジョブのここ俺に掘らせるために Such a nice added touch to have him actually looking at his hand in the background at the same time. <sighs> It's so good to see him. <laughs> Whoa, gonna say this a different way, so be prepared. A unique stand user. Not much to say, but this is pretty cool. Man, that's so clever, and I'm so glad he switched on enough to his boy's thought pattern that he could figure this out without any help. My word, those sound effects are awesome! I think they really stepped it up in part four. Oh, I already know this is extra clever because rubber and electricity don't mix! Thank you, e q u a t e i n Science! An epic end to this fantastic battle. God, I love how he's really trying his best to understand the situation, but given his limited IQ, he's kind of struggling to make a decision. I absolutely cannot not give a win for this. This is sad to see. I'm not going to. Well, literally, all of us understand why, and that's the main thing. Showing us flashback scenes to give us some closure. やっぱ日本のコーヒーはうまいなウェイテレスさんおかわりよ Oh, I remember years ago when he said Japanese coffee was terrible but then he found out he was drinking American At least I think that was the same オリジアナわかったよまいったぜなんか気まずいよな It's more incredibly sad but yeah ジョ、ジョスケ君近くにスタンド使いがあるぞ I know Yusuke is foolishly not taking him seriously, but seeing him like this, alerting to danger just like the old days, absolutely warms my heart. And it hurts even more knowing his time in this universe is coming to an end and I can feel it. Oh my god! Oh my god!
god, he said, oh my god! Oh my god, he used herbit to purple! Okay, I can die happily now. This entire scene. Foundation Oh, and by the way, the whole notion of him caring for a baby in front of his young son isn't lost on me. It's very sweet, actually. <laughs> this is so incredibly clever, and animating around this stand must have been a nightmare. This is so clever! キミのお母さんによろしく伝えといておくれよな。何しろ年が年じゃからの色をつけておるんじゃよ。見たことね、他人の子供のためにここまで。That scene with that music playing and it being Joseph, goddamn, take two wins. Nathan Byrne, the Ortho, Josiah May, Bird Without a Word, Arias Alibari, PK Fan, Chef Kilo, Lawrence, Chris Harris, Yona Stahl, Manolo Saucedo Munoz, Manuel Morales, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Sentimento, Silva, Master Tank, Brendan Creer, Kyle Farmer, Theodore Quackens, Kaj Vorzelman, Jordan Samuels, Gabby Z, Amye Hamye, Crimson Shadows, Powers 994.